Please note that this project was started before the quarantine. Today on Frugal It Out, I am gonna show you how to make this light fixture for $20. So this was the original idea. I loved this, I thought it was beautiful, but too expensive. I can't spend that much money on a light fixture. So I figured out, I frugaled it out, and I love it. This was a fun project. It was fast, it was simple, and I'm gonna show you how in 10 easy steps. Okay, so we have a good old bathroom light that has like those, usually like those ball lights go in there. Um, what is under this lighting? I'm curious, like how we can uh, take it apart to see if it'll work with the wood frame. We have a little buddy today. Say hi, Judah. <laughs> now that opens up possibilities. Oh, nice. I would just need a piece that goes down the middle to set these on. I can take them off of here, off this metal oh. thing. Oh, then you just set those things. Okay, I get that. See, I think. All right. Oh, oh a little screw, that's convenient. Let me. Hi, Judah. <laughs> After, uh, I've <laughs> always the star of the show. Okay, try again. Thank you. So after I took apart the light fixture, super easy, um, I just unscrewed these teeny tiny little screws to get it off the fixture. Very easy, pop that off. Um, I first attempted this size hole, which I can't remember what it was, but it wasn't quite big enough. So I went and I got a little bit bigger, and for my light fixture, it's perfect. So it's one and one fourth inch. And um, definitely pay a couple bucks extra to get these little guides on the side because my wood is so skinny, um, I can't have any problems. So uh, with that size, I still had to sand the inside a little bit to get it to fit right in. But now, so those are my practice cuts just to see if it would even work. And I realize it's not very structurally sound, but this is not gonna be the weight bearing part. Um, so now I am going to screw in my other holes. I measured out from the end. I'm gonna chop off my wood here. So three and one fourth will be my first light. And then we'll do six and a half inches between all the other ones till the end again. I have three and a fourth inch that I've measured. So here we go. I'm gonna cut off this little extra piece of wood and then start making my holes. Fingers crossed. I can make it through the whole board without screwing it up, but that's okay. These are so cheap. If I jack it up, I'll just try, try again. At first, I just used sandpaper to try to make my holes smooth enough and big enough to get my lights in. And then I went inside and I got a little like nail file Dremel that was electric. And then finally, the best thing that worked was actually just to rock my drill bit back and forth really gently when I'm drilling my hole. And so it makes just slightly an oval. And I found that that was the best way mm -hmm. that I didn't have to sand that I could get um, the lights in the hole. This next part was pretty hard trying to decide what dimensions I wanted it to be based on number one, how far apart the light bulbs could be due to the wires that were already there. But if I wanted my boards to be vertical, like these ones that are the wider side out or vertical like this where the thinner side is out, just kind of changes the look of the whole structure. And also I wanted the square piece um, well, did I want it to be a square or a rectangle from the side? So I finally just picked it up and put it over on my dining room table to get an idea, the sense of scale and size. And this is what I decided on. And video filmer is me. Thanks. 
subscribe. You done filming yet? Yeah. Okay. For now, for Make time. sure you do whatever she's doing. <laughs> Just sanding off the rough edges. Okay. What happened to your hand? You were rubbing it later. Oh, I don't know. I got a little splinter. I have four boards at nine inches long, four boards at ten and a half inches long. The board that I use to make the circle holes to put my lights in at 39 inches long. And then the last four boards at 40.37 inches, which look at this picture. I really should learn the actual wordage for this, but that long. Once I made my cuts, I just lightly sanded the edges to get the rough spots off. And then it is on to staining. My favorite stain color combination right now is a thick coat of Classic Gray by Minwax, followed by a little bit less of Special Walnut just to give it a warmer feel. Here we go. I'm lining up my pieces. I am putting the prettiest sides out uh, in the directions that I want. I'm trying to hide the uglier sides, making it match up. And I use the wall as my strong flat base to uh, nail gun against. And I also have my uh, right angle straight edge. Here's another look uh, how it was constructed. And oh my gosh, this is just like a happy accident. I love these corners. So it just worked that way that the rough edges, you know, they soak up stain a little bit different than smooth edges. And it looks so cool. So make sure with this design, obviously it'll, it'll hook up this way. But um, I also wanted to show you, so each place that I did my nail gun, I did two nails. Um, in each little spot. <clears throat> and then also, going down and then my original cross beam I did three um, and I had so when it was like this I used shorter nails but when it was like this obviously I use longer nails so make sure you use nails long enough it'll go in there I only had one screw up where I shot up and kind of missed so I'll go back over there with a little bit of stain and maybe cut off that little guy I should put another nail in there. I realized that the strip of wood that's holding the light bulbs was not structurally strong enough to be able to hold up the whole fixture just because, you know, on those sides where the holes were drilled, it's very thin. So uh, I reinforced it with another strip of wood on top, which actually worked out really well because it hid, hid the cords a little bit better. Uh, so here I am attaching that with some little eye hook screws. I just need to go back over and stain that piece of wood now. Also, the piece of wood that is holding my lights is flat. So when I added another piece on top, it actually made it flush with the whole light fixture. For the reinforcement of the crossbeam. So you can see here, I have my eye hooks. We get my turn on, everything set and then I can just attach it onto the hook. This is the light piece of wood that I still need to stain. was my added reinforcement. So the wires, you know, ran across the top of the other one. I came in, I decided to use a screw on this one and I drilled pilot holes first so that my wood wouldn't split and then I came back and I secured it to this bottom piece in the middle and now it's just so much better um, as far as being able to hold the weight because uh, if you remember let's go on there's no way that that's going to support the weight you know this isn't a super heavy light fixture but over time it's going to bow it's going to snap now i think we're in good shape number one make sure your wires are out of the way when you screw this in mine were i, I thought ahead thankfully uh, but once this piece is on there you can just use a pencil or something dull to tuck the wires into the side and I still have a little bit more tucking to do and then this piece will run up my chains thank you for watching another episode of frugal it out please hit like or subscribe below 
Let me know if you have any different ideas of how you could switch this up. I am currently waiting on an electrician to come in and actually put the wiring into the ceiling and over to the light switch, but um, you know, quarantine problems. <laughs> So, and just a reminder, this video was started before the quarantine happened, so that was nice. I could get my supplies for that. Um, also to note, the light bulbs were $20 for six of them, so keep that in mind. So the light fixture itself, $20, add another $20 for the light bulbs. Hope you guys have a great day. This might be a project you can actually do if you have some spare wood around and an old light fixture. You can order some. Edison bulbs off Amazon. Hi, Briley. Hi. What do you think of the light fixture, Bri? I think it's good. But before you end this little thingy right here, before you go into making it, please subscribe to Bright and Smiley Briley. What? You can't plug your own show. Get out of here. You're fired. And I got another one back there. <laughs> or quarantine and going crazy like everyone else. <laughs> Having fun but you know how it is. Everybody knows how it is. There you have it. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye.